My self care begins now. I'm about to go to the nail shop right here and get my pedicure. I'm gonna have to buy some sandals, guys, because I end up putting on those coach slides. I got my feet in the water and it feels really good. So I think I'm gonna go with purple. I'm gonna get the $55 pedicure and then you can pick one of these. I have the charcoal powder detox. I want to get, I don't know if I want the jasmine or the, oh, I might try the lavender. Yes, I think I'm going to do the lavender relief. Yeah. Is that one pretty good? Hmm? Oh, you don't have it? Yeah, oh. everything. I have the mango. I have the vitamin C. Which one is really good? Really good. I love coconut. The coconut one? Coconut. I have a coconut. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to choose. I'll let you guys know. I'm going to choose the vitamin C, but they don't have it on here. I did want to do the lavender, but I wanted more they of a detox. Too. Yeah, but you they said the vitamin C is them. more detox, right? The lavender is really good too. Okay, I'll try the lavender then. Okay, thank you. So I'm going with the lavender now. <laughs> They smell really good. Yeah, I love lavender. Purple is my favorite color. Okay. <laughs> Thank okay. you. See? Mm -hmm. I like how they have the shield on the chair so you can relax and, you know, if anybody's coughing and all that, it doesn't get on you, but I like that. So she already bowed and shaped my toes and everything. It feels so good, guys. So this pedicure is an hour long, so I'm just going to relax and enjoy it. Okay, she's going to put this in now. Mm -hmm. after and then after number two. <laughs> so that was step one we did. Now we're doing step two. And then we're going to do step three. Step for and take it off and then put the sugar in the water. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels good. That's why I wear shorts, guys, to the nail shop when I get my pedicures because. No! The they do my legs too. <laughs> no, Sunday. No work today. No, no, no work today. No, Sunday. No work today. No work today. No work today. Yes, I will. No work today. Good. Each individual turn. Uh-oh, you're going to burn me. <laughs> Thank you. So this is the third step. It feels so good. Hmm? With the mask. Yeah, the mask. <laughs> Ooh, look at that smoke. Wow. Ooh, that feels good. She's wrapping it with a hot towel. Mm. That feels good. Yeah, look at the steam. Ooh. Mm, 
feels good. <laughs> I know, so you can see the steam. Oh, it feels good. Oh, like a mummy. <laughs> I ain't gonna have no scar. <laughs> no, no, no. I can see with you don't not blood like that because we are just steam on it. Yeah. No, the lotion, whatever, it was really hot. This is the last one? Step four? Number four. Yeah. So I went with the light purple. I like it. Look at that purple. I had to use the little paper shoes they give you because I came with my slides. But I like the color. Go to Sally's Beauty Supply Store because I don't have a nail brush like I do. But for some reason, the acrylic, I thought I cleaned it and I didn't. And it's Sunday and you guys know I leave tomorrow. Sunday and I'm not finished packing guys so I'm just tossing my stuff in here I will roll it up but yeah that's what I'm doing my bag I have to pack my Dempsey up I do have my pochette accessoire in there I have to take some things out of my narrow full so I am going to do a check bag because I just want to walk through the airport with my Dempsey. I don't want to have a whole lot of stuff. So this is going to go in the check bag. I hope they don't lose my item. And this is going to go in my Dempsey. I'm going to fold it down. I do have my wallet in there. And oh no. And then this one too. My. Oh look guys. I found my strap. My. Um, for my jelly bag. So yeah, that's going in a Dempsey. I'm just going to have that and then I'm going to pack some light makeup. I don't think I'm going to be wearing any makeup because it's going to be hot probably. So yeah, this is what I'm doing, guys. Whew. So we picking up where we left off. And I don't know if I'm going to bring that um, city tote over there. I just threw everything in the luggage. I'm going to just mostly wear shorts. So I have that in my sundresses. I took the organizer out the Dempsey because I'm not going to use it. I have my bags in here already. And I have to just pack this up and put that in there. So I already added some items. I don't need this. So I decided not to wear the coach hat because it's a little too much. I wanted to wear my coach slides. They're so comfortable and I like to travel with the slides. So I decided to go with this. So I'm gonna wear the slides and the bag on the plane.
they're old guys they like messed up i <laughs> wore these out but i love them here's the part where i'm about to start doing my nails i had to go to sally's and i needed another brush and i normally don't go to sally's but i did not have time to go to a nail supply store you know i'm losing time and today is Sunday. <laughs> and normally I do my nails three days ahead or maybe two. So I'm just like, ah. Okay, so I want to also say that it is good that I do my own nails. But you have to make time. And I'm like, sometimes I just want to go into the nail shop like, do my nails. But the last time I did that, they did not do my set right. And I was like, nah, so... I'm going to try to make this quick. It's a little self-care that I do before I leave. So I took the press on nails off. So I'm going to size my hand here. So my fingers. This is right. So these two are my thumbs. So I'm going to do that really quick. As you guys can see, mm, that fits good. The second one, so... Let me see if I can get my, I believe it's this one. I haven't did my nails in a minute. I'm like, oh, I think I use both of these on this one. This one looks like it's a little, let me see. Or is it this one that I did over here? So I'm having like sand, the glue off and everything, use the drill. So I'm going to do that as well. I believe this is that. Let me see. What's this one? Oh, this one fits better. So, I guess it's these two. Y'all know how my nail beds are. I'm like, ugh. Okay. I don't like the way that one fits. Let's see. Okay, this is it. And then let me find my pinky. So, I'm just going to put these off to the side. I need to get my towel. To put down, let me see. I think this is my pinky right here. I like to do my own stilettos, like shape it, because I really shape really good. Oh, sorry guys, if I'm out of frame. Because I'm like, where did I get that one from right here? I can't remember. But I don't have time, so I'm gonna use the already shaped stilettos. And it saves you time. You don't really have to, you know, shape them yourself but i love to shape the stiletto shape i love stiletto more than i like coffee okay so let me get my drill and i'm gonna show you the colors that i'm gonna use for this set and we're gonna move on it's time to get these nails popping okay so i'm gonna push my cuticles back you guys already know oh sorry if i um move in the camera so i'm just pushing my cuticles back and i'm going to take the drill and get all this glue off and everything just prepping my nails for the acrylic this is how i prep my nails i push the cuticles back so yeah let me fix my little fur that I got there. So yeah, I told you guys, it is a blessing to do your own nails, but sometimes you just feel like, man, I just wanna go to the nail shop and let them do it. But like I told you guys, they don't do my nails right. Okay, so I push my cuticles back. Oh, that's pretty high. Let me turn it around so I can see. So I have this here. It's a dust. Wait, let me just tell you guys. Let me turn it off. It's a dust collector. So it's going to collect all the dust. I don't have to really clean. It's a bag underneath and all the dust would be down there. So I know it's pretty loud. So I'm just going to show you how I do one nail here. I take it around and I want to get all that glue that I have from my press on nails. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, I forgot to tell you guys, I will be clipping my 
nails. So let me clip this hand. I've already did this one. So I just wanna clip them down and start them over, you know, so they can grow out really nice. Let's see if I'm in frame. I can clean this up, my little nail that's flying off. So yeah, I wanna make sure that my nails will grow really nice. Oh yeah, I gotta do this hand. Like I've already sand the glue off, but I wanna make sure my nails what I was telling you guys, grow nicely underneath the acrylic. Because if they do, I can start acrylic, you know, putting the acrylic on my natural nail. I won't use nail tips. So yeah, I kind of like make sure that the nail is already, you know, rounded and kind of squarish, roundish. Because I want my nails to, um, to just grow really nice under the acrylic. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, so I will be back with my next step. It's time for me to glue the tips. So I'm just going to glue on the tips. I'm just dusting all the dust off my nails and everything. And then doing that. All right. So let me start off with the thumb. Wait, I'm gonna put it on here. I always do. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it on that thumb. And there it is. I'm gonna show y'all the stiletto. I love stilettos. So there it is. <laughs> They are long. I was like, I'm not going to do them that long. But when I be saying long, you guys know, like, how long my nails be. But, yeah, that's the stiletto. It's time for me to foul the um, tip part right here, you know, to get it to look more natural. So, let's do that. And let me turn on my fan. So I'm gonna do the thumb. You just sanding it down so it can blend well with your natural nail. So that's all I'm doing. I'll do one more with you guys. You guys can see, so. I know the fan is pretty loud, but you just want that to blend in really nicely so let's do this one so just take it along and just blend it with your natural nail and then after this step we're gonna get right into the acrylic this is what i have to do when i'm going somewhere an event vacation whatever Days that I just feel like doing my nails. This is what I do. This is how I prep my nails. Okay, I'll see you guys when I'm done with all this sanding down. Sometimes I like to go in with the foul and just do this around the tip part. Cause I want it to like really, really blend, you know? Just take it and do like that. It's kind of hard to do your nails on camera because I haven't figured out a way to set it up like those nail channels because I don't have time to like literally get a whole new setup just for nails. So I always do my nails here, just easy. So I am done. This is what they look like. I'm about to get all this dust off while my dust collector is on. Let's get it all off. And then we can make some magic. Let's see what I'm going to come up with. I don't know. I don't look at no pictures, no nothing. I just 
um, come up with my designs in my head, but I know I wanted like, I don't know, like different colors all on my nails. We are at the fun part. So I did go with the number eight. You guys went with me to Sally's. So I had to get the number eight. I do like to work with the nine or the 12, but I really didn't want, want to work with the 12 because I have a lot of acrylic and I'm gonna do like a marble effect. So I wanted a smaller brush anyway. So I'm gonna go back to Sally's. These were 10 bucks, the acrylic brush. I don't know if you guys can see it. So I'm gonna go get me like, four of them because I was like, I don't have time. If that happens to me again, I don't. What if they were closed and I want to do my nails at night? I was like, oh my goodness. So this is it. It's by Beauty Secrets. See? And it's small though, but hey, I have to. It's either a nine. A nine is perfect for what I'm about to do. But yeah. All right. So let me just go over the acrylic I'm gonna use. I have a plastic bag here because I do not want the monomer to get on the towel because it is so strong. I do wear a mask when I do this. So I do have my little um, dipping, um, what is it? My dipping dish for the acrylic brush. And then I have clear acrylic here from a nail supply place that I go to in LA and then I have the beauty secrets yeah the beauty secrets right white so I'm going to use white as well and then I have my glow my glow in the dark I love to do my glow collection when I go to the beach and stuff because I want to be at the beach at night and then my nails be all um light so I have the purple the pink and that neon what was it green or yellow i don't know okay so yeah radiant high aurora and what is this one ultraviolet so yeah these are the names i know you guys like girl y'all never know the name i showed i just be used to if it's cute i see it with my eyes all right i'm gonna put my mask on and then let's i might put some glitter i hope you guys can see let me take my protective glasses off. Okay, so I might use this glitter on top. I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to do bling and all that because getting in the water, doing water activities and stuff, they don't really fall off. But if they do, I just don't want to deal with that on this vacation. So let me pour my monomer and let me get set up and then I'll be back. That's what I'll do. So you guys just won't be like looking at this. I'm all set up. So, I like to use clear to put over my natural nail so I don't have any issues with my natural nails because I'm using color and sometimes color acrylic can stain your natural nail. So, let me see what my brush is looking like. Come on now. So, I'm going to play with it because it's new and I hate using new brushes like... God, I don't know how that happened, and I can't even find my number nine, so I'm going to make sure that I have enough acrylic around the house. So I'm just going to take a little bit, as you guys can see, and put it over that natural nail. Just bring it down. It doesn't have to be over the whole nail because I just want to protect my natural nail, you know? Oh, I got a breeze coming through. So the monomer is very strong and you have to be careful because if you have bad allergies or if you um, inhale too much of this, always wear a mask when dealing with um, the monomer because it's dangerous. It is really strong and you have to be in a place. I normally sometimes go outside. So... It could just be like a lot of air, you know? I hope you guys can see this. It's very hard to do your nails on camera if you do not have a nail like studio, like the girls be on YouTube because I can only, you know, do my nails how I would do it if I'm here. 
I'm going to try to get a place where I can set up so I can start doing my nails with you guys. Because I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Maybe if I do this, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. So this set may take me a minute because the brush is so small. I should have went to the other one and picked up a 12. So I could have just did... I know. I don't know what I was thinking. I could have just did the color acrylic with the small brush, cleaned it off, and went ahead and used the big brush to cover the nails. I don't do the one ball method. I do like the two or three because I like to take my time. And I tell myself I'm going to learn one day <laughs> to do that one ball method. So that's all I'm doing. And then I'll take it, pat it, sidewall to sidewall, and bring it down. Because I want to just protect my natural nail. Oh, you guys know what I forgot to do, see? On camera. Woo! But you know what? I'm going to put it on over it because I have to do the color acrylic. So you need your primer so it's no lift. It don't lift. Look at me missing a step, guys. So I'm just going to let it be natural. So I'm going to put it over this. Hopefully it don't lift. Normally it don't because I have done this before. Forgot to put primer on all of my nails. So that's what I'm going to do. Use the primer. I hope you guys can see this. Okay, let me do my other side so I don't forget. So yeah, just take the primer. And this helps with lifting. You don't really have to dip it in there like that, but I do. I'm going to dip it one more time. So, you know, I'm missing a step. See, I can't be recording. I'm like, now it's going to be toe up. I'm going to be like, oh, my nail's breaking. They popping up. And I was like, I could have just wore some press-ons. But, yeah, it should be fine. If you do forget this step, just do what I just did. Okay. So I'm going to do this last pinky with you guys, and then I'm going to um, finish up, you know, and then I'll get back to when I'm going to do the marble effect. So that's what I'll do. And normally I will do my nails on my um, dust collector, but I was just like, let me just do it like this. Cause I really didn't feel like moving it and then putting it back, but it's okay. So yeah. So you just want to make sure all your natural nails is covered. Okay. So we have the purple. I have the white. You guys may not see everything. Let me move that. And then I have the pink. Look how much powder I got, acrylic powder I got. <laughs> and then I have the green. So we're gonna do like a marble effect. So let me just show you, all the nails have the thin layer of clear acrylic on them. So let's see what I wanna do. I'm gonna have to pick each some from each one. And hopefully, I'll make it. Okay, let's see. One may have more than the other. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to do that because I don't like the way it's turning that color. I don't like that. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pat it down a little bit. I'm going to pick up two at a time and then put some white in between it let's see oh y'all can't even see look see i'm having a hard time i'm gonna do it with the other nail okay so we're not gonna do it odd so what i'm gonna do is pick up a little bit of pink and go like this you see that a little bit of the white yeah, that's what I'll do. And then I'm going to swirl it together. A little bit of the purple. So one nail could just look different, you know? See? And I just gone. 
put it all around like that. You see it all? I don't know, it be looking crazy. Like when you first be doing your nails, you be like, ooh, that design. So I'm gonna get some of this green right here, put it right there. Yeah, cause I didn't like that color it was making. So I'm gonna pick up some white and put it over there. And I gotta get that purple on my white too. Cause this is white, white, let me see. So yeah, it was gonna be cute. I know it looks crazy, <laughs> but it does. Let me see if I get that white up. I mean, uh, where my little tool at? See, you will make mistakes, but since I know what I'm doing, if you really didn't um, want that to look like that, you would, um, let me see. I'm trying to do some marble, some purple right there. You would have really just had to like wipe that off really quick before it dry. Matter of fact, let me move this out the way. Cause that's probably what's bothering me. Okay, yeah, this is so much better. So let me get some of that pink and put it over here in that corner. A little bit on top of that purple and just go around. Now you wanna be careful when you get to your cuticle area because that's what's going to, um, you know, look crazy if you don't. You don't want it to kind of go over towards your cuticle because that's where you're going to have lifting and you're going to have all those problems and stuff. So you have to be careful. So I'm going to show you again. So this is what the nail is looking like right now. Let me get that around for my cuticle. It's looking like that. So I wanted something real colorful and pretty cause it's summer, but you know what? Even in the winter time, I would, you know, have my nails like this. I'm gonna put some white over there in that corner. Let me show you guys. Okay. So yeah, you just have to play around with your design sometimes. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go like that. And I end up buying that big bottle of acetone. Where was it that big? It was like the medium size. So I found the number nine brush and the 12 and I'm soaking them. So maybe some of that acrylic come out and I could just do the clear because I have to put clear on top of this. I think that looks great. What do you guys think? Let me see, I wanna put something right here so you just have to play with it see so it can look a little marble effect so it's not going to take long to do this so one is done i know it looks crazy but wait to the end because when i first was doing those i was like what am i doing wrong but so i'm gonna get some of that pink let me get some of this green and just put it all around. So one, some of the nails will look different because you're not going to get it like identical, but you just want it to look nice, you know? So I'm just going to put some of that white and then I'm going to put pink. I'm going to try, oh, I put too much. I'm going to try to grab some from each one, like hurry up. Because it is kind of warm today. And I do have the, so I just want to swirl it around a little bit. So I'm just going to make my own design. You see, it's going to come out really nice. I want some purple up here. On this one, it don't have to be exact because you're just, let me get my cuticle. I don't want that to run down to my cuticle. It doesn't have to be exact to this one. You're just playing around. Like, it's just messy, you know? Uh, let's see. How about we do some white here? Just in that middle right here and then there. And then like pat it down, move it around. That's how I do it. 
that's how I do it. Let me see. I think I want some pink over here in this corner. I've been picking up too much pink. That's because I can't see. Because I'm doing it on camera. Yeah, so I'm going to come by and then dip your brush in that monomer if you needed to, like, thin out some of this pink. You know, thin out your acrylic sometimes because it could be too much. And you want to make sure you don't have nothing at the bottom of your nail. So, yeah, it don't always have to be the same. As long as you got the colors all in there. It's just going to look so cute. I'm going to probably use more purple right there. And then I'm going to probably put some of that yellow right here. So I can all blend it. Oh, this one's cute. I like this one. So, yeah. That is it. So I'm going to continue to do the rest. I don't know if I want to do a solid finger. But, I don't know. Because you could just do purple and white. I was going to just do purple and white. And I was like, no, nah, I want some color. So, yeah, this is what it looks like so far. And I will be back after I finish the rest. I got the color on all the nails. I am loving them. They are so cute. So, I was able to save my brushes. This is the 12 here. Remember, I got the pure acetone from Sally, so I was able to save this one and the number, what is this one? Oh, this is the number eight, two. Oh, my nine is missing. But yeah, the number um, eight and 12. So when I find the nine, I'll be able to have these. So now it will be um, easier for me to use the um, clear acrylic on top of this. It won't take me like... 30 minutes it'll probably take me 15 less than that so i'm happy about that so time is on my side today <laughs> so i think i'm going to be able to complete my set and take me a shower lay down and get ready to go so they're done i love it so i'm going to put clear acrylic on top and then we are going to put some gel um clear and then i think that's it i don't know if i'm gonna put any stones maybe i'm not sure so let's start applying this clear acrylic i had to take a break because i need to eat something because i haven't ate anything all day so i'm gonna start with my thumb i'm just going to seal all the color acrylic and everything let's move to the next finger I'm just going to start at the bottom. Oh, wait. And work my way down. And then sometimes you got to go like this. So I'm just putting the clear all over the nails. So I'm just going to show you this last one here. And then I'm going to continue that until they're all sealed with the clear so yeah that's all you have to do so that way when you begin to file you don't take any other color off like sometimes you can like if you did it kind of thick you don't have to like put clear on top because you're going to sand it down and smooth it out but i always just put the clear so i don't have to do that much fouling or whatever Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit right here. And then that will be it. Then I have to file, buff, and paint. Started to file my nails. I'm gonna file them before I take that drill and go around my cuticle area. So this is how I file them. Let me turn on my fan. My little dust collector, cause I need it. Cause I'll be in here cleaning up. I'm gonna tell y'all the time. I should have timed myself. Like when did I start, huh? I don't know if you guys be able to see this. So let me turn it this way. So you guys can actually see. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I'm so used to just doing it that way. 
So I'm going to foul these babies, okay? So they can look nice and pretty. So let me go over here on this side. I think I'm gonna use this one. So I'm just going straight, just like that. Just trying to get that nice stiletto shape. Fouling is what's gonna make your nails look really, really nice and laying the acrylic down good. So the whole time I had to think <laughs> the wrong way, guys, cause I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I, my brain is just all over the place. So I was like, let me turn the thing around so you guys can see. So it don't seem like I have to be like hunched over and stuff. Okay. So I'm looking and checking the sides to make sure I like this shape. Yep, that looks good. Let me go down this. I'm gonna flip the file this way. And I'm just gonna file these babies before I take that drill. Cause the drill is really gonna give it that good clean look as well. So I'm just gonna probably drill. Let me step back from the camera for a minute. Cause I need to file correctly. And I don't like how that's looking. Okay, so the pinky, so this is it. So I think when I record again, doing my nails, I'm gonna turn this fan this way because it's easier. It's gonna catch that dust. See, some of that needs to go down there. It's going to catch that dust. So, all right, let me step back and check to make sure I like you still have to get off the camera just to file a little bit better. Okay, somebody always calling. So I'm going to take this bit off here and then I'm going to get my favorite one to go around my cuticles real good. Which is this one right here. Let me see if you guys can see it. Okay, so I'm just gonna do one on camera. And you have to be careful because this drill is really, really sharp. So I'm gonna go around my cuticle area. Oh, where are my glasses at? You see that? And I'm gonna just go around and get that acrylic flat as possible. If you laid it right, you really don't have to go over so many times. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I take the drill and then just go, just like that. So I will link the items that I'm using literally this all came from amazon the drill oh i'm shaking i'm sorry guys hold on i'm just still moving the drill and everything so let me go over my cuticle again i'm gonna start up from there let me see and then go around just like that so it can be clean And then I'm gonna go like this. Y'all see that dust? That's why I need that dust collection. Okay, let me just do this one right here. And then I'm gonna get off camera and finish up because I'm behind. I'm gonna tell y'all the time right now. I'm not really behind, but I wanna rest. Okay, I'm just trying to get around that cuticle area, right up in there. Oh. Bring it down, I'm gonna take it back the other way. 
and then cross the nail like that. But then I'm gonna go like this. All right. So I'm gonna finish that up. I'm gonna drill everything. Let me turn this off so you guys can hear me. Okay, I'm going to drill my nails. I'm also going to buff and everything. So, yeah. And I'm just using this one, even though I used it before. I'm just using this one. Because this side is clean and I can still use it. And this side I could too. So, yeah, I'm liking them so far. So, I will see you guys when I'm done um drilling and buffing i don't, don't need to buff on camera all you have to do is go like this and buff after you know you finish drilling this is my set i'm sorry guys i couldn't show you guys me putting the gel polish on i was going to put some rhyme song on here but i was like no you know what i don't feel like dealing with that i'll do that when i get back home so these are it they are lovely i love them so this is my self-care routine when I go out of town. I always do my nails and everything. So let me turn the lights off so you guys can see how they glow in the dark. Look guys, isn't this gorgeous? I love the glow. Look at all the colors. So this is what it'll be like at night when I'm on the beach. I just love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this self-care like travel edition these are all the things i do for myself when i'm about to get ready to go on vacation or just um once a month i try to do my nails and my feet get some items from the store to make myself feel better so yeah it's like my self-care travel edition so i will see you guys when i get back and i hope everyone has a beautiful week